Hey, Michael. What's up? Hey, Francois. How you doing? Good. So I hear that we've got already a lot of questions. I'm not going to waste any second and start with the first one. Which watch will start the Marvel collaboration? Which watch? We'll have to wait and see. April 10th. We said April 10th. So April 10th it is. Coming soon. Does the partnership with Marvel include the placement of AP watches in movies? Sehr gute Frage. So the answer is no, it's not. We actually made a partnership with the Marvel comic books and not the studios. Uh, okay. Because for okay. many characters, it wouldn't make any sense to actually the watch in the movies. So that was the deal on day, on day one. It was with the comic books characters, which is more than 6,000 of them. So we have a long time to go. All stainless steel clients are waiting for 2022 to buy a Rilo Chrono. Can you tell us what's coming up next year? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Michael. Oh, I'm not saying much. Not with you opposite here. I'll get in trouble. Look, is, as great as 21 is with Offshore, we can multiply that times two for Royal Oak for the big anniversary next year. A lot of when great surprises. Have, how do you in the chat, We're going to give a, a little something today. We're going to just say also that it's not going to be only about design and dials. There will be also some Can't major innovations. Can I ask you a millinery Can I ask you a millinery Is there a new collaboration with Raph and Russo forthcoming? So there is obviously because we, we are keeping the relationship going and we made a deal with Tamara that we would actually work on a watch together. Now, if you've read the news, the company is, uh, is not doing so well lately, but I wish, first of all, I wish them the very best. It's an outstanding company with an outstanding uh, creativity and we want them to succeed and we will follow every step of what they, they do. And hopefully we're going to see the watch with uh, Tamara going, uh, going uh, good as well. Will there be a new advanced research RD edition to follow RD1 and RD2? Absolutely, yes. The RD projects have a great future ahead. So the next several years, a lot of ex very exciting things coming on that trajectory. Okay, should we say that RD3 is coming? Yes, this we can say. How safe is a detachable strap? The detachable, it's super safe. I mean, the team went through great length to make sure yeah, it was going to be durable, strong. You and I really went at it. We were, yeah. It pulled as hard as we could. We know, we know how people wear our watches. I mean, that's the that's yeah. the power of Audemars Piguet in the sense that people don't want to take them off. They want to live. They want to live their lives with their watches on. Least, so we had to make sure it had that durability ah, okay. to it. No, no, and really, no jokes. No, no, jokes. Jo no jokes. It's, it's, yeah. I'm not <laughs> that good with my hands in <laughs> general. <laughs> so to be able to put this that easily. <laughs> And it's very small, we played it very... No, no, it's, so it's going to be safe. It's really well designed, it's a lot of fun. When can I buy your watches with Bitcoin? Oh, oh, I, oh. You know, look at this is a big open question, depending on who you ask. What's the latest on that from your end? Are you I looking into it? At Audemars Piguet, we don't close the door at, for anything, and I do believe that at some point, uh, the cryptocurrencies will be a way of paying our and buying our watches. Cool. No doubt. Cool. That's going to be an evolution that we see coming. <laughs> That day will come. Now, when exactly, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But if it goes broader and bigger by the day, at some point, we'll say it done. We so have to do it as well. We're totally open-minded to keeping that door for sure. the crypto exchanges in the future. Completely. Cool. I really like green, new craftsmanship on 16.331. When will it be available? So the green dial watches are going to be coming out between now and September. There's the yellow gold, especially the, the yellow, yellow gold. gold. Well, that one's primarily we're looking at the U.S. market for that watch. There's still huh? there'll be a little available Was? beyond that point, and that one's going to be launching this summer. In the summer, yes. Can you be more precise, Michael. That's a great question. I don't have the exact date off the top, as you just well read on my face. I'm thinking it's June. It's June for that. Hey, well, June, July, August. I have a 33% chance of okay. getting that right. Summer. <laughs> What's the expectation for the Marvel partnership? Yeah, that's that's why I ask myself. I think the expectation for the Marvel partnership is to is to is to tell great stories, to reach a really wide range of people, to open up the dialogue between what we do and how we share it, how we create it, and as you've been talking a lot about, is really getting down to what does it mean to be a hero, to look at that idea not just on the silver screen and not just in the comic book pages, but in everyday life as well. What, what, what do you have to ask? No, there that? was always a sense of celebrating the superheroes that no one will ever hear about because, and there are plenty of them that live their lives every day that nobody talks about. Actually, it's uh, Don Cheadle that said that Brad Pitt told him once that when you are a major celebrity like they are, you cannot 
get out of the light. And through the program we got to partner with, with uh, the people from Marvel, it's actually to be able to bring the superheroes, the unknown ones, under the light. Ach okay, so. to, to, uh, through programs, we got, we got to help Gut two major Tele ones. One is Danke is called fünf first book, and the second one is called Ashoka. But they got to work together. It's for underprivileged kids, okay, Schön. that will don't like, get Arnold access to the ideal damals. education, and that will support them, and that will go on for years. It's not a one hit and run, where Ein we go, we give the Chat. money, Nicht we schön. go for one year, and then it's gone. It's going to be for multiple years, and that the way we also built the partnership with Marvel, actually through the course of a multiple years contract, where we got to use different characters and support different programs down the road. Any news regarding CPO? Yes. Go ahead. So CPO, we have been testing. We've been doing piloting the program in Switzerland. We're opening that up in, in the pilot as well in Japan. But we're really taking our steps one at a time to make sure we do it right. We're not going to dive in too deep, too fast, moment to moment to really see, to make sure we get it right as we open this up. And you're gonna, we're potentially going to pilot a little bit in New York in the future too. Yes, because the most important thing is to really give the ultimate experience for our clients. And it's not to rush into something just for the, for the, mm -hmm. for the thrive okay. of it and say, oh, we've got to be in so many countries at the same time. It's very important to Find do it super, right. And it takes a lot of entwickeln. planning before actually opening the doors. Why don't you focus more on the Jules Audemars collection? The Jules Audemars collection is technically retired at this point. Yeah. It is. It is no longer in production. It was a beautiful collection, but it didn't have a strong identity. Yeah. It wasn't easily distinguishable as an Audemars Piguet watch. And that was really what helped fuel the design briefs that went in ultimately into Good what became Code 1159. So those watches are there. They're on the market. But for now, the only watches in the round sector we're creating are the Code 1159 okay. watches. Will you use the Rilo Tourbillon Chrono design for other Rylock models too. Actually, it's the name Augusto, Augusto Veroni. The Turbion Chrono design? Yes. For other mm -hmm. Rylock models too. Okay, well, the new generation Turbion Chronograph, the self-winding. Which maybe also the... Yes. Oh, the, well, that's just Turbion. So mm -hmm. the new Turbion Chronograph, was, first we'll reference that. We debuted that on code last year, and this year, as we just saw, we brought that on to offshore. There is no immediate plans to see a version of that caliber on Royal Oak. Royal Oak has other great complications coming. However, the Royal Oak Turbion absolutely is going to keep evolving in very new and exciting ways. Mm. But no immediate plans for this generation Royal Oak Turbion chronograph. Immediate plans. What colors will the diver come in? So the diver is coming in steel, titanium, and rose gold. And we saw the different the dial colors over the there. Gold, we chose the initial dial colors to be able to be balanced with those interchangeable straps. We didn't go too crazy. You see the blues, you see the beiges, you see tones that are great everyday wear watches and where we can read readily switch between straps. But for sure, over time, we'll start to see more adventurous dial interpretations enter into the new generation 42 millimeter diver. But to start with, we're playing it, I don't want to say safe, but we're playing it in a way where you can really enjoy and love those watches every, every day, and most importantly, have fun with the straps, which is where all the different design elements come in. And by the way, I got news this morning, actually, before the session, yeah? on the interchangeable straps. You yes. see, I said it right. You now. did. That was great. Okay. Uh, on the, because people were asking if they could retrofit, actually, the old offshores with a new system. And the answer is yes. We, we said a few weeks ago that we would work on it if it would come. Now we've got so even a, a sort of time frame. It should come available the beginning on the last uh, three months of the year 2021. So confirmed. So my older Safari 42, I'll be able to get fitted with the detachable strap system. Yes, but not every everybody at once. Of course. Again, we have to. But yes, the answer is Very yes. Very cool. Ach, krass, man kann, man kann auf bestehenden Offshores die Straps auch anwenden. Is Iron Man on the waiting list of Marvel watches? <laughs> so the answer is, it was obviously, the first time we met with the people from Marvel, we went already there with six different characters. And Iron Man was one of them, obviously. And what we have to share, and it's an official uh, uh, thing from them, is we, we would have difficulties to use the name Iron Man because of the race, okay, the triathlon race, which is called Iron Man, who has a partner for a watch. So because of that, 
will have difficulties to call the watch Iron Man. They would let us potentially say, yes, it w could become the uh, Tony Stark watch. That's not the same thing. So Iron Man is not in the pipeline for the years to come. Ah, sie dürfen nicht so Iron Man benutzen wegen dem Rennen. Ich glaube, da gibt es eine Uhr Iron Man. April, Iron Man. Nope. We can say. Hi, question from the UK. Uh, the UK, will there be an AP in the future with a carbon fiber case? So we've done forged carbon in the past. I would say the last high, high stakes release, uh, high profile release was the concept Schumacher lap timer that involved carbon. And for us to go back into a material like that, it has, to be, it has to be perfect. It's as simple as that. We can't introduce a material that can't be hand finished to show the play of light, and it has to be durable and strong. So it's one of the many materials that we're looking at. Die Carbon Modelle, zum Beispiel die Grand Prix, die war schon sehr anfällig auf der Lunette. Das sah nicht schön aus. Carbon that we can do. But what we can say is there was a, a meeting recently at Audemars Piguet with the R&D department, and we saw a lot of things in terms of material that we could use in the future. That could really make a statement. Big time. And the key theme of all of those, what ties all those together, is can they be hand finished? Can they be machine finished? Can we see that play of light of the satin and mirror finishings encountering each other? That's always the trick, regardless of what that material is. But some great things coming on materials. Which new releases will get to India? What is the plan for Indian AP collectors? Da muss was okay, so werden. we da are muss was right now in werden. 74 countries, pretty much with Audemars Piguet, and in India as well. But we don't have a big distribution there. No. Okay, obviously. And there are many countries like that. Uh, we know that we've got a lot of people from India who love Audemars Piguet, and we encourage them to actually see what we could do, but outside of India, because the distribution is pretty complicated there. It's not that easy oh, uh, okay. uh, to play with. But hopefully, we're going to be able to also host uh, pop up sessions and pop up uh, things in, in India, because we know that we've got a great. Appreciation da gibt es eine gut, gute Community, bin ich mir sehr sicher. So, it's not a matter of saying we don't think about it. It's on our radar. It's just a matter of how to, to make it work logistically, which is not always very easy. Hi, Francois. May I ask you why the Rilo Chrono Yellow Gold with green face does not have the new movement like the rest of the Rilo Chrono in gold? It goes back to, well, for th that project started quite a while ago before we were even ready to announce the new caliber on the Royal Oak. That one go goes back a couple of years. Man wieder, ne? Wie schwierig es ist, Fertigungslinien abzumachen. Ne? Was, ich fasse es mal gerade zusammen, was er gesagt hat. Es geht halt darum, dass sie jetzt für den Chronograph neue Werke quasi angefertigt haben, die obviously schöner sind, okay? Die Sache ist, die testen die jetzt erstmal mit den Rosé-Goldenen, weil da natürlich die Stückzahlen etwas niedriger sind und dann nächstes Jahr wahrscheinlich kommen die dann in Stahl. Nur diese Fertigungslinien können die halt nicht direkt auf alle dann übertragen. Ne? Last limited edition with that FPG 2385 caliber. Which you are not supposed to say, but you just said it anyway. We outed it. Uh oh. <laughs> Any major changes in the 15202 next year? I'm going to take that one. So another huge watch company actually uh, said recently that they would stop Making the 5711. Uh, Thank you for 500 bits. So we could say that there will be a new reference for 15202 next year. So we will not make the 15202 ST, but that will be replaced by something else. And for specific reasons that we will not talk about today. Perfectly said. Okay, good. Will we get a remaster too? Absolutely. When you see a one. Oh, okay. Jetzt geht's um diese Remastered Edition. Wurde mir tatsächlich auch eine angeboten, eine Uhr aus der Vergangenheit, die da neu auflegen. The next remaster project is going to be. Except that there is a little. Ah. You no, know, there is a side uh, road. It okay. might not be called remaster Ooh. for specific reasons. Very cool. Okay. Why. So the spirit of remaster, is the there. spirit of exploring the past and 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 reimagining it in new ways, is very very much alive. That's how we're going to end up today. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Uh, you were cool close event. to 3,000 people at some point. So thank you so much for making the time on this beautiful Monday. A week ago, it was snow everywhere. Now it's purely sunny and grass is back. But thank you so much. And hopefully we're going to see each other face to face sooner than later. Thank Would you again. Thank you. See you. Bye -bye. <laughs>